Oh, 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 where'd that one come from? What the heck? Oh, oh, he's still right here. He's still right here. Oh, God. What the heck? I was dropping down. Oh, look, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming right back. Yep. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's up. What? What? Come on. Third time's a charm, right? Third time is a charm. Really, guy? Come on. Come on. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm here in the apartment and in a little bit we are going to be going fishing. We're actually going fishing on an Indian reservation where we got to get a permit to go fishing for some trout and that's open year round just in case you guys were curious. But before we get started, Lindsay has been doing some decorating in the crib as you can see right here. We got a, a lovely tree right there. Oh yeah, we still got a Long ways to go with the decorating. Lindsay's a big decorator. Got some uh, stockings and stuff like that and some pine cones and all that goodies. But there's already a present under the tree. Lindsay, what the Sam hell? It's not Christmas yet. Are you giving me presents already? Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Oh, oh my goodness. This is the Jackery Portable Power Station Explore 1000 as you can see that thing looks awesome Jackery was kind enough to send me this sonic gun and oh my gosh It even comes with solar panels, which I don't want to take out of here because that's a lot of work right now But there's solar panels in there. I have the Explorer 500 and they're upgrading me this year for Christmas So huge shout out to Jackery. They're actually running a Christmas special, which I'll pop up right here It's gonna show all that information. I do believe it's from the 7th through the 13th They have some discounts So if you guys are in the market or know somebody that needs a new Christmas gift this year that likes to go camping fishing exploring any Anything like that a jackery is what you need to get them because it gives you portable power to power anything you need when you're out in the wild say you're out there for me instance like I need to charge my cameras or my laptop or if I want to grill on a Traeger like I can plug everything in to this son of a gun and it is awesome I've used it this whole summer I'm gonna use it during the ice fishing season and I have nothing bad to say about it honestly guys it's a great product and definitely go down in the link and check it all out so you know I want to kind of open a gift a little bit early here I know it's not Christmas but I want to see what it looks like let me get a knife Ooh, what do we got going on here oh god yeah let's see here oh oh we got I'm assuming inside here is like a charger for it uh, okay, okay, this is like the solar panel adapter, as you can see it there. Those top things are the solar panel, and then that's our jackery, and the solar panel's over there. Ooh, look at that packaging this thing comes in. Oh, what? What the heck? Oh my goodness. I mean, this thing is a freaking beauty. Look at that. You get that thing right there. Um, that's how you charge it and stuff like that. And then you have a USB-C, two USB chargers, and then kind of like a, one of those like car charging port thingies. And then this is what's awesome. You get three of these guys right here. These are in huge handy when I'm out there in the wild. English is hard. Let's see if it has any juice right now. Ooh, oh, look at that. It comes 38% charged. Look at that. So you click that button, it shows you how much is in there and stuff like that. And then you can plug all of your stuff in to keep everything charged. And again, it's super portable, easy to carry around. And if you're off the grid, this is what you need, guys. And it even comes with a little flashlight. Look at that. Ooh, we have light. That's awesome. So I am actually going to put this on the charger right now because I want to use it. I got a little ice fishing trip here that we're going to be going on. So we are going to plug that in and get that thing going. So go check them out down below. Again, huge shout out to Jackery for supporting this channel. Uh, they sent me one earlier this year. And again, they're sending me another one right here. So thank you so much, Jackery. I know you guys are getting super, super antsy to watch today's video. So I'm going to end this little intro right here. This video is an absolute banger. Went out and clapped the old trout cheeks if that is uh, something that you do. Trout cheeks, is that even English? I don't even know. So let's get into today's video. Yes, I have a mustache, forgot to mention that. <laughs> Woo! What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one. 
and uh, we're not in my old stomping grounds. We are actually way up north. Me and Dustin from Smack 'em Outdoors, we traveled all the way up to Red Lake, Minnesota. Now you may be thinking, oh, I can't wait to watch this walleye video. No, sorry, it's not gonna be a walleye video. Actually, one of my good buddies up here lives up here and he's on a fire, and I mean a fire trout bite, and uh, I've never really caught trout through the ice before, let alone like big trout. So today is gonna be a trout fishing mission. We got America screaming over there. I got an eagle. We're meeting him at this lovely little uh, casino right here. And as you can tell, like the scenery already looks a little different than what you guys are used to. It's kind of got that up north vibe. But I'm actually so stoked, dude. I'm nipping right now because it's so freaking cold out. But oh my God, I'm just so excited to catch these trout. I don't really know like how we're gonna target them yet. I heard maybe sight fishing, maybe using the panoptics, I'm not sure. Um, there's a good like four inches out there, so we have safe ice. We're just waiting for our guy. When he shows up, we'll give you a little bit more of a rundown. 20 minutes later. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Do you wanna go fishing with us? Huh, you wanna go fishing? Yeah, you do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the lake and we picked up a friend. Look at it, that dog is ripping. Are you excited to go fishing? Yeah, you are, you are. But, oh my God, this is so beautiful. We're on a little lake right now. Um, it's actually like a 35 acre lake. Absolutely tiny. I guess there's some uh, there's some nice trout in here and we're gonna see if we can do the all dangle here. Oh, I mean, just look how pretty that is. Look at us walking out here. Oh my God, look how clear it is. Holy crap, that's so clear. You saw a trout? Yeah. No, you didn't. It was just right under me. Like, look how clear it is. Oh God, dude. What the heck? Dustin said that he already saw a trout swimming underneath of him. I've, I, this is definitely the clearest water that I've ever fished. And uh, I guess there's a good, like four, four inches out here. Oh my God. This is crazy, dude. Oh my goodness. You're used to this, aren't you? Yeah, you're used to it. All right, the man, the myth, the legend. You gotta introduce yourself for the vlog. I'm Darius Roseberry, Roseberry Guide Service on Red Lake Reservation. And what are we doing today? Rainbows and brook trout, ice fishing. There's brook trout here? How can people find like your stuff? I'm more on Facebook. Facebook, okay. Yeah. So, if you guys wanna book a trip, go down in the link below, click the link, and you can do what we're doing today. Um, you also do other types of species, right? He targets all sorts of species, May through October, and on the ice, so if you guys wanna catch fish in this area and just experience the, the northern send up here in beautiful Red Lake area, go check out my mans. This is gonna be insane. We already saw trout walking out here, and oh, I forgot my ice cleats. I, I absolutely whiffed it, which is a botch, but oh my God, I'm pumped. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are all kind of set up here. We're gonna start all jigging. Um, what I'm using today is a 36 inch light Royal Flush by Frostbite, as you guys can see. This has kind of been my panfish rod and I wanna test it on some trout today. And paired with that, we got four pound test and the Frostbite dinner bell. You guys haven't seen me use this much on the channel, but this year I plan on using it a lot more. It gets a lot more kind of like action when you jig it up, it kind of like flutters back down and stuff like that. And also the dinner bell kind of has like two spoons in there. As you can see, there's like a hole and then another little spoon attached in the middle, which is kind of unique. I've never seen another company do it, but Frostbite has surprised us and done it. So we're gonna pick up our whole 500 pound Garmin here. And we're gonna start jigging somewhere. I'm gonna go, are you hooked up? Yeah. What the, f no, you're capping, dude. I'm not. You're capping. I'm not. What the heck? You've been here for two seconds and <laughs> Dustin already caught one. All right, I'm going over here. Got some nice holes drilled. I've yet to even mark one and everybody else is catching fish. Sheesh. Oh my God, here comes one. Oh my God, oh my God, Mark came out of nowhere and just smashed me. Hold up, he's right on me. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. He came in so fast. That's the most aggressive mark I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna give it big strokes here. He's right on me. Big strokes. Oh my God, dude. Dude, that was insane. Oh my God. He absolutely murked me, but I missed him. Oh no. You missed one, John? I missed one, dude. 
He's still looking at me though. Oh, what? There's two of them. Oh, oh my God. There's, I've never seen, I've never seen a fish fly in so fast like that in my life. Oh my God. I, I saw him come in from this side and like just smoked me. But like, you know, obviously I missed the hook set. You got, you got to get one of those out of the way. That was insane, dude. My goodness. I got like, I almost got scared there for a sec. I got, I was scared. I was scared. That was weird. You ever been scared by a fish coming in like that? Holy cow. Drop a comment down below. Oh, that is a nice one. I'll come on and look at that one. Oh, I'm going to reel up though. So nothing bites me. Well, we're taking a little break in the action because I can't catch anything, but oh my goodness. Dustin, you have to see how pretty this one is. Holy crap. Look, oh, we're taking a couple home to eat. Oh my goodness. Do you see how pretty that one is? Man, it was just like seven feet they just come in <laughs> both sides. Oh, you, you got to give me some pounds though. Even down, maybe even. Uh, right from the top <laughs> this is motivating me to pick it up here. I thought I was like decent at ice fishing and then I come out here, I'm getting smoked already. Oh, these guys both have two fish and I have nothing. Oh, I got this, dude. Okay, here we go. Wanna try some worm? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're tipping it with? All right, I'll, I'll, I think I might need a little tippage of worm. I feel like a little bit of live bait always helps. Dawson's caught two on the plastic, but I think I need a little extra advantage. <laughs> I just put like a little tail on here like that. Just like this? And then I thread it on like one treble hook or something. Okay, sounds good. All right, we're gonna try a little bit of worm action here. Dustin, I'm cheating, I'm using live bait. Yeah, because I can't catch one with uh, not live bait. So we're, we're gonna try some live bait now. This might be the ticket, man. Like I haven't had any like super hard takes. Mm -hmm. Here comes one. Here comes one on the bottom right. Okay. Okay. Oh god, we got a duck. Oh, we got a dog. Dog. I'm not even gonna blame that on the dog. That was my fault. That was weird. Oh, 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 oh! Whoa, whoa! Oh. <laughs> See what is what is going on? Do you have some pliers? I do. Not on me, no. Okay, I think I have that one hooked good. Yes, sir. Get through here. Get it through here. Yes. I landed in my first trout after 500 tries. I got one. I think I'm going to take this one home, guys. Do a little bit of a catch queen cook action. You like that? My first ever trout through the ice. Well, this is like my second only. Yeah, there we go. All right. He's coming home for dinner with us. Let's go. That's my first trout of the day. I finally got one. There we go. Oh, I'm stoked. Okay. I think, I think I'm getting figured out a little more. A little more now. All right, got the Garmin set up for y'all. You can see me going down there, fishing 28 feet of water. Oh, let's see if we can make some magic happen here. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, I took it out of his mouth. Did you guys see that one come out of nowhere? Oh my God, that was insane. Classic me losing fish. You guys, you guys should play a drinking game. How many fish can John lose today? You guys would be so drunk right now. <laughs> God, this is a lot different fishing than I'm used to, guys. Like, I don't know. Like, it's they, they bite so much different. They they react to bait so much different. Like, normally, like, you know, they're not even, like, in... I haven't personally seen them in, like, huge schools that I'm used to uh, uh, fishing. Like, normally, if panfish, I'm fishing big, giant schools. And it honestly doesn't really matter how you work them because there's so much competition going on. Like they're just gonna devour anything that's down there. I feel like this is a little bit more tricky. And if you guys watch my videos in the past, you guys know me and trout like don't go along at all. We I've gone trout fishing like three or four times to Milwaukee to catch those big browns and stuff like that. And it's just never worked out. But this I'm here I am today trying to catch some rainbows. Again, I am struggling as you guys saw. But luckily I have one down. We're gonna keep chugging away though. Here, trout, trout. What's that? There's one on bottom here. Oh, I have one coming in. For, oh, there's that one that you just told me about. You guys can see him on the right side. Oh yeah, look at him, look at him race to me. Should I try tracing him? See if I can chase? Oh. Oh, what? What? See, I think that's been happening to me a lot today. 
He's still right under me. Oh, come back here. Come back. He liked when I dropped it. He liked when I, he loved when I dropped it. Come on. He's just swimming around me. Look at him. There we go. That, that got that that time. That was not getting off right there. Oh God. Second fish on of the day, boys. Oh. Oh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Another beautiful one. Oh man, you guys saw me whiff as usual, then I finally got him to commit right there. That's my second fish of the day using the dinner bell and a little bit of worm. The worm I think is adding a little bit of scent and just that extra little oomph that I need. There we go. All right, there's another one to add to our little dinner pile right there. Look at that. That was so cool to see on the Garmin, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys like this view because I'll keep doing it all year if you want me to. Where'd that one come from? What the heck? Oh, oh, he's still right here. He's still right here. Oh God, what the heck? I was dropping down. Oh look, he's coming back, he's coming back. He's coming right back. Yep, yep. Oh my God, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, what? What? Come on, third time's a charm, right? Third time is a charm. Really guy, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Finally. Goodness. Goodness. Took me three tries. Come on. Get up here. Yes, sir. Number three. I just caught that second one and then I dropped back down and I had a fish on me like immediately. I didn't have time to react. Missed two times. Well, that's on par. And then got him. Third try. You, sir. You are a tricky little devil. They love that dinner bell. Oh, yeah. Now we're on them, folks. We are on them. I'm still missing them, like, initially, but, you know, eventually, a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, what's going on? I have fish. Oh, my God. I don't even know what's happening. I tried, like, fixing my rod. This is a good one. Oh, God, look how feisty he is. Oh, goodness. I don't even know. I was, like, trying to, like, fix my line or something, and a trout came in out of nowhere, as you guys saw in the pan optics right there. That is how these fish have been doing it. They're just coming out of nowhere like freaking thieves in the night. Here comes one. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have him chase it up a little more. There we go. Oh, what? I had him hooked for like a second. No. Oh, he's back. He's back. It doesn't feel that big. There we go. I got him. Yeah, I don't think he's a giant by any means, but oh, yeah, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. All right, this guy came in and he whacked it. We're gonna throw this one back though. This one's a little smaller, we'll let him grow. Just some beautiful trout though. Put him back down. See you later, my guy. Here we go. That's so cool watching them on the Garmin, man. Like they just come zoop, zooming in and then doink. Well, I'm, it goes for me, it goes miss, miss, catch. That's the pattern I've been seeing. Oh, look at, oh, two of them came out of nowhere. Look at this. Two of them came out of nowhere. What? What the heck? Oh God, dude, two of them came out of nowhere. Oh, where'd they go though? Where did they go? No. How did you not want this? I just saw two of them, dude. Here comes one. Here comes one flying in. There we go. There's one right there. That feels like a better than my last one. This may be my last keeper here. Come on. Come on. 
Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, but this is going to be my limits right here. Boom. Just like that. Let's go. What do you think about that, huh? What do you think? Is that a good looking fish or what? Yeah. Mm hmm You're a cute dog. Whew! And just like that, folks, we got our limit. And the dogs are barking. So that's always a good sign. But I had an awesome, awesome time. Remember, if you guys want to book a trip with my man, Darius, you got to do it. You got to do it. Go down to his Facebook and give him a DM, right? Yep. That's the best Show way to get a hold of you. On, on Messenger. Messenger. All right. Well, appreciate it. Yep. Thank you so much for having us out. And just like that, we got our limit. We're taking these guys back home. We're going to do a little catch clean cook action. My favorite part of every catch a cook episode. You guys stay tuned. And we are back, folks. It is the next day, and I'll be honest, I am very hungry, and I'm ready to eat some trout. Here is one of the fillets that we got off the trout. It's not the best fillet job ever, but, you know, I kind of messed up right there. But, I mean, it's going to do. That looks absolutely fire. I mean, look at that. So, I had a plan for today's video. I wanted to cook these fish um, the right way. And being the right way, you're supposed to smoke trout. That's how, like, anybody you talk to, they're like, hey, how do you make your trout? Smoking them. That's the best way to do it. So, I even went home. And I got some wild fish brine mix right there. That You want to brine it for a day, and then you throw it and smoke it. But, um, knowing John Lehman here, uh, waiting in last second to do everything and a big dumb idiot, don't have time to do that. So we're going to do a little pan fry. I have a bunch of other fillets that I can save for another video and do the brining thing. So if you want to see a brining episode and a smoking episode, drop a comment down below and I'll do that on my Traeger. But today I just don't have the time and I'm going to make this son of a gun on the stovetop. So let's go in here. I'm actually, oh, oh, let's, this is actually fire. This is my second favorite thing behind the old ducks waterfowl seasoning. Um, today I'm just gonna use this because it's fish, obviously. So we're gonna, oh my God, open this bad boy up. It smells absolutely amazing. And we're just gonna, oh yeah. Oh God, yeah. I'm just gonna give a little dangle on there like that. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, dude. I can already tell this is gonna be so good. And then you come over here, I already got this kind of prepped. I'm gonna turn on the oven to about a medium hot heat. And we got just like a little bit of butter in there and we're gonna let that melt. And then we're gonna take our fish right here and put it inside of there and hopefully she tastes good. Alrighty, and our fish, that's what she looks like after we're done seasoning her. Then our butter has melted. So we're gonna take this guy right here, okay? This is not gonna take very long to cook. So we're gonna take it and I'm gonna put it face down like meat first, just like that. I'm actually gonna rub it around in the uh, butter a little bit just to get some extra juices all up on there. You know what I'm saying? We want this thing buttered up, man. Oh, yes, yes. We love to hear that and see that. Oh, God, yeah. And we're gonna leave it in there on this side for about three minutes, okay? And after three minutes, we're gonna turn it over and maybe cook it for another like two minutes. So this is not gonna take very long. Um, trout doesn't take long at all. And this butter is basically just gonna soak everything up into the meat and we're gonna have just deliciousness. Oh, it smells so good in here. I do wish that we were brining these things right now and then smoking them, but that kind of takes a long process. And I did not have a very long time to get this video out. So that's why we're doing it this way, but stay tuned for a brining and smoking video. That could be interesting. Oh man, look at that. We even got a little bit of a sear on there from the pan. I mean, that looks muy delicioso. If you're not gonna smoke it, I would suggest this. Now it's time to see if it tastes good though. Nice and, f oh. Oh my goodness. Are we seeing this, folks? Are we seeing how nice and flaky that looks? Look at that. Oh my God. We're gonna cut off kind of a little piece here, just like this. All right, here we go. We got some fresh Minnesota trout. I see a little bone there. I'm gonna take that out real quick. Cheers, boys and girls. This was swimming like a day ago. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my. This is so good. I mean, if I could figure out a better way to take it off of the bones, I mean, it's it, there's still a little bit of bones in there, 
I'm probably being dumb and there is a way to do it, but, oh, look at that. Oh. Wow, this little bit of char that I got on there. Mmm, poppy. So freaking good like that. I'm just devouring this whole thing, bro. If you guys don't have the time to smoke trout, oh my God. Definitely cook your fish like I just did because that little bit of char and stuff right there makes it absolutely gas. Like I'm trying to pick out a couple bones right now. I would just wish I could dive in and not worry about the bones, but oh. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Well, that's what's left of the carnage. Oh my goodness. I should have made like five more fish. That, ladies and gentlemen, was absolutely goss. I don't know why I said it like that. It just pronounced gas. That was so good. If you guys need to cook something fast, you don't have time to smoke it, definitely do it like that. That little searage part that I had, like the little seared part on top and then like the flaky underneath, <gasps> best thing ever. Also, do you guys like my mustache? I kind of forgot to mention that to you guys. You guys like that? Hmm. Got a couple trips planned and I figured it'd be kind of funny to go down with the mustache. So there you have it. That is a trout catch, clean and cook. Remember to go check out Jackery and also check out my man's Darius. Darius put us on the fish. And if you guys at home want to do exactly what we did, go check him out. Link is in the bio. He also does other types of fishing. Like I saw him holding like 18 inch crappies. And I'm just like, bro, we got to link up in the spring to do some of that. But check him out. Check Jackery out. We got a bunch of stuff coming up that I don't want to fully announced yet. We got a trip that's like literally happening in a couple days and oh, a spontaneous trip that I'm doing tomorrow and uh, Christmas and all that other stuff. So just stay tuned. The channel's about to be lit guys. You guys are not gonna wanna miss any of it. Make sure to click that notification bell. It lets you guys know whenever we post a video so you guys don't miss any of the action. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.